Hey guys, I just got my June Birch Box in the mail and we had a little different logo on there this month. So they've completely changed the look of the box. The website's different. So if you haven't already been on there, make sure you check it out. And if you're not familiar with Birch Box, I'll put some links in the down bar just to kind of give you an overview about it. But I'm gonna open this up now and see what's inside. You can see the box inside's a little different too. The type is in white and it looks like it's been simplified quite a bit. So it's just a very kind of generic looking package actually. I did prefer the other box, I'm gonna say. And inside, that's different. We've got some lining on the box. Usually they're just brown cardboard inside. And here's our card. So this month's theme is Wanderlust, and this is supposed to be packed with travel goodies. They've teamed up with Color Club this month, which means we're all getting nail polish. So yay! You guys know I love getting nail polish. And on the back, the cards change too. We still have our rundown of all the products, but now there's these little what and how lines added in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but they're just adding a little bit more detail, I guess, another layer of discovering the product. Let's check it out. The first thing in the box is shampoo. This is Love Shampoo. Lovely smoothing shampoo from a company called Davinis or Davinis perhaps. I've never actually heard of them, so help me out if you guys know this brand at all. This is a shampoo for dry and frizzy hair, and it says that there is Indian fig extract and olive oil in there. Great size, too. That's really generous, especially for travel, so that should last quite a while. The next thing in here is a fragrance. This is Something Blue from Oscar de la Renta. This is the second fragrance I've sampled from Oscar de la Renta through Birchbox. I really like the last one they sent, and this one seems to be a little bit more geared towards summer, and lighter fragrance. It says there is Mandarin and Linden Blossom, Romantic Heart of Stephanotis, Lily of the Valley, A Kiss of Lychee, and a little bit of bourbon, vanilla, and white musk. That is a really complex sounding fragrance, so let's check it out. Carefully, I might add, because we've got a stopper on there, not a spray top, so let's do our best to get this open. Mmm. It's really nice. It's nice and light. Um, sometimes with white musk and white florals, you think it's going to hit you, but this was soft. I think this one will be nice because it doesn't seem like it's going to get really overpowering, especially if it gets hot outside. You know, it can really magnify scent. So that's really nice. I just wish it had a spray on it. This is from Mira Ness. This is Glossy Kiss. I'm not sure if the name of it is Starlet or if that's the color, but it does say Starlet down there on the bottom. And that's what it looks like inside. This is supposed to be a user-friendly pencil and a goof-proof way to score some high-impact color. And that's full size, you guys. So that's what it looks like here. And I will do a swatch on my hand so you guys can see. But it says Quick Kiss, number seven. So I kind of think that's the color. I'm not sure what's, why it says Starlet on the front of it. I'm confused by that. But it looks like it's a really intense shade of red. Holy bananas, look at that. That's a bold lip. Wow, really creamy. Wow, that felt nice. That is really silky. Wow, I'm really impressed by that. I just can't get over that. That's pretty. I'm really looking forward to wearing that in the summertime. Wow. And let me know what color you guys got. If you got something different or if we all got the same color, but that's really nice and it's full size. So that's more than the value of the box right there. This retails for $26.55. That's a good deal. Let's check out what's in here next. This is our little packet and should contain the rest of the samples because all that's left in the bottom is a card, which I will get to in a second. <laughs> I've got my Color Club polish here and I got the color Pardon My French. So it's a little bit of a purpley pink lilac color. Pretty though. I don't really have anything actually that's that specific color. So it's always good to get something into your collection that you know is an addition rather than a duplicate. So, um, let me know what color you guys got too. Looks like we have a companion to the shampoo here. This is a little packet of the Love Lovely Smoothing Conditioner. This has barrage oil in it. Don't know what that is. This is supposed to be a rich aromatic conditioner and that barrage oil is supposed to be super moisturizing. So this is for harsh and frizzy hair. I kind of wonder why they would send you a sample of the shampoo like this and then send you the conditioner like this, but... I don't know if I'm just thinking about that too much, maybe? The last thing we have in here is another foil sample from Davinis. This is Absolute Beautifying Potion for all hair types. This is an antioxidant packed potion. It's supposed to help strengthen your hair over time, fight frizz, and it says to just apply it to the ends of your hair as a finishing or styling product. Although from feeling it, I don't think you're gonna get more than one use out of it. It's pretty sparse on samplage in there. 
but that's the last sample we have. And then onto the card I mentioned. In the bottom of the box was this. And at first I just thought, oh look, we're getting postcards from Birchbox. And it's not listed on the card, so it's just a little extra, lifestyle extra. And I find this uber adorable. It is a set of postcards. So there are five postcards here, but each one of them has a picture. So New York, Paris, London, and Barcelona. And those are the four locations of the Birchbox offices. And nobody should be complaining about getting postcards in the box because it's not listed on there as a sample and it really is like a seventh item. So there was quite a bit of stuff in the box this month. And I can't say that I'm unhappy with any of the samples other than, you know, I don't really like seeing foil all the time, but I understand it's part of life. And I'm really excited about this. This is an awesome sample. Like I said, it made the whole value of the box. And all in all, I think they did a great job encompassing the theme. I'm happy with the products I got. So I hope you guys are happy with your boxes. If you got one, leave me a video response or a comment so I can know what you guys got. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon with a new video. Bye.